This is a brief tutorial to show you how to further edit and customize your table of authorities to comply with local rules or the specifications of your supervising attorney. Uh, the first skill I'm going to show you I learned from a student, so I'm happy to pass that on to the rest of you. And that is, look at a situation where perhaps local rules or supervising attorney wants to have dot headers in the cases table but not in the other tables, such as the statutes table. And you can also use this particular trick to modify anything else that doesn't look the way that you want it to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click into the statutes table, right click, and select edit field rather than update field. Once there, you'll see it's selected the table of authorities. And so I'm going to click to get the advanced options. And when I get to this point, I can uh, turn off the tab leader by simply selecting none. You'll notice it's got in the category it has Alaska statutes highlighted and I will show you how to how to create something like that in just a moment. And then go ahead and click OK. And then it asks you want to replace the selected category of the table authorities. I'm going to say OK. And you can now see that the table of authorities for statutes does not have the dot header. So you may be asking yourself, how did you get to the point uh, where uh, it says Alaska statutes rather than statutes? For example, let's say you wanted to say local rules or Kansas rules or whatever it is that you wanted to say, and that's very easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to create a new category, local rules, and, and mark it. Now in this particular case, because I already have marking, I'm going to go ahead and remove that first because I don't want to have... Oop, looks like I misselected. I just want to get the marking. Well, looks like it'll be easier just to go ahead and put that parenthetical back in. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this Alaska appellate rule and, and mark it as, uh, I'll mark it as an appellate rule since that's what it is. So I select what I want to mark. I'm going to click on Mark Citation. I'm going to come down to Category. And you'll notice in Category uh, that if I go to the top, you'll see built in are cases, statutes, other authorities, rules, treatises, regulations, constitutional provisions. And then it used to have eight, nine, and it goes all the way to 16, where you can define your own. So I used 8 for Alaska statutes. I used 9 for court rules. And I'm going to take 10, and I'm going to change it so that it is appellate court rule. And I'm going to uh, replace the 10 with that. I'm going to click OK. And then when I mark this, I'll go ahead and click down and select appellate court rule. Oh, I should have used, well, we'll go ahead and use rule for this, but uh, if I was going to do this again, I would make it appellate court rules. And all I have to do is click mark and click close. So uh, appellate court rule is now associated with table C10. So I come back to my uh, court rule. I right click. I'm going to, uh, actually I was going to update the field, but I think that'll produce the wrong result. So instead I'm going to go to Table of Authorities, and I want to put in the Appellate Court Rule table, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Do I want to replace this? I'm going to say yes. And so now it has Appellate Court Rule. And just as before, if I wanted to remove the dot header from this one, all I need to do is click Edit Field, Table of Authorities, um, come to tab leader, select none, click OK, click OK, and you can see it's now been modified. So uh, in this quick tutorial you've learned how to edit your table of authority so it looks just the way that you want it to look and uh, to change category names so you can have more specific category names if that is what uh, your supervising attorney or your local court is expecting. So let's finish out this tutorial with one more step. Let's go ahead and fix the typo that I created. If you'll remember, I did appellate court rule when I really had intended to do appellate court rules. The fix is pretty simple. All I have to do is click on Mark Citation, Category, Find Appellate Court Rule, 
replace appellate court rule with appellate court rules. Click replace, click OK. And now, if I update my table, update the field, it's now appellate court rules. Please let me know if you have any questions.